Hi, I'm Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country, and we're here with Jason at closing. And Jason was so thrilled with his experience that he wanted to take a couple of minutes and tell you a little bit about your experience so you can decide if you'd like to hire me and my team moving forward. So Jason, first, um, congratulations on closing today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You made it really easy. The closing and actually the whole process of selling the house went really, really well. Scott was a wonderful realtor. He did all the marketing, even uh, hired the photography, the camera people come in, they flew drones, they you know, arranged anything that needed to be and, and just made it beautiful. The photos went online, they went into the MLS and until all the major home networks and places people would look to uh, buy a home like mine and it just looked great. So we uh, had a few showings, uh, not as many as I even thought we needed to, it sold quickly. So well, we did it, something different that most agents don't do. We made sure that the pictures and the marketing was perfect, right? And yeah, did, yeah. And we did a 10 day marketing period where we mm -hmm. said we're going to show the house, but we're not gonna look at offers for the first, until the 10th day, right? So we had during that time, about how many showings do you think we had in the first 10 days? I think there was only about seven or eight during the marketing period, and that was enough to find the buyer and to get day, an offer, which, which was one amazing. Day. Yeah. So we was. found an op buyer, and they did what all buyers do. They made a low offer, mm -hmm. about $25,000 low. But we were in our marketing period, so what did we tell them? We said, you know, we're in our marketing period. We've got a bunch of offers coming in. This is the time to do this. I think you're not going to get the home. And the offer buyers ended up paying what? Full price of the house. Yeah, yeah that was awesome to go from a low offer to full price offer. They must have really wanted the house and uh, everything we did. Because we created yeah. that sense of scarcity mm -hmm. with them, with the house. And we weren't asking a cheap price, were we? We were asking a little on the higher side. Would you agree? Yeah, I think so. Either at or slightly above what you know the market was at. And, uh, and, and that's what a good realtor can do. We ask slightly above where the market's at, and then we sell it for full price in mm -hmm. nine days. Um, tell me about the contract at closing. How did that go after the contract all the way to today? I know you're all stressed out cleaning the house out today getting ready for the buyers. <laughs> well, of course, that's everybody's got to do that. But um, the paperwork, the contract, the closing, it was really straightforward. Um, like in advance, I got sent a copy of the closing documents and knew everything about every number that was in there. So I was aware before I uh, came in to sign. And the actual process of closing was really easy. Uh, we went over the forms and signed a whole bunch of signatures like you always have to do. And, uh, and, and it was great. So I went from uh, cleaning and getting the house ready to turn over to the new owner, which is a lot of stress. Uh, and then I got to the closing, all the stress went away. And the last signature on the line made it all happen. So now I've got a good amount, in, the, in my case, a good amount of equity came out of the home. The value has gone up since I've owned it. And that's a very good thing. All uh, tax free. Good situation to be in. All tax free. Yeah, exactly. So we're at the closing now, and you notice it's just Jason and I, and that's something that we do in order to decrease the stress for the sellers. We have the big form of closing where everyone's taking a shower, and they all dress up, and we all wear our tie, and we're here all day. Instead of that, we have the buyers come in at a different time, and Jason came in mm -hmm. early. We're actually a day before closing here. So he's all done, and the whole process probably took 15 or 20 minutes. Most of that was a yeah. chatting. Yeah, it was easy. And one thing I really like is you see these people where they'll do an open house and they'll put the cookies and the banners and, you know, come in and look and they'll have a lot of people in and out. There's been a, a house or two like that in my neighborhood. On your street? But, on my street. But Scott, when he said, let's do the marketing period, let's let's see how many people we can run and get interested in. And I didn't have to be there. It's uh, There's a lockbox and a key and their realtor can come in, access the box that asks for permission first where... You know, they can ask you, hey, is it okay if we're there at four and you just hit a button on your phone? Sure, come on in. So and, everybody and, knew. Yeah, and you don't, you know, you don't have to be home or anything. It's probably better if you're not. And then, so the showings happen and they come as needed and really only the really interested people are going to show up. So, I mean, there are people in those open houses that just want cookies <laughs> and want to look at sites, but I didn't have to do that. That's a lot of extra time and stress and a realtor sitting in there and people and, and a lot of times it won't generate a lot more offers for your home it just is a lot more to do so scott said let's go to the 10 days and just see if we can find our buyer at a great price quick and that's what happened so now there's a house that's on your street that was on i think before we started that's still yeah. for sale is that right oh yeah yeah there is there is one for sure and they still run through people through it and it's been months and they have to keep dropping their price they're a little bit high but uh 
Yeah, a lot more people have been in and out of that thing. Same so my, neighborhood, different yeah. marketing, yeah, different just, result. Yeah, they're still not. Yeah, so I'm, I really value how fast my home closed and the fact that we got our asking price of our the first time we put it up. We said, "Here's the amount we want," and uh, we got it. Well, there was a lot. <laughs> so, of, there was a lot of prep work to do that though, because yeah. you had interviewed me several times uh -huh. over several years, I think, right? Several times I come out and we talked. Yeah, we came out and we talked, and so there were some things that you that we had to do. What were some things that you did yeah. in order to get the house ready to sell? Well, it, it was for a while, I wasn't sure when I needed to sell the house. Uh, life circumstances, different things were coming up. But then finally, when the time was right, I said, Scott, it's go time. Well, so we had some things we needed to do. There was some replumbing. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Like I had those pipes that you have to um, get, you know, the newer pipes put in. Otherwise, you can't even sell it and you can't insure it. So I'm like, okay, finally. <laughs> so, so I got that, that done. And then there was um, a roof issue too, wasn't there? Well, I, I had redone the roof um, two years prior to the sale, but it was it has the prettiest, nicest roof. Insurance helped with that. Um, and just a lot of projects around the house. I replaced the fence in the back because that was looking old and I wanted it to be attractive to people that came in. I don't want people to point their finger at things that don't look good. I'm like, well, let's make it as nice as I can afford to make it and it still makes sense. And so in the end, I, I did some of that work and uh, you know, my, some of my family helped me do that. And I got the house painted so it looks nice from the outside. On the outside. And that Inside, it, it already was clean and beautiful. So I just you know did the final cleaning today, uh, the day of uh, closing when I signed. And um, it's great, so I'm all done. I had a fast, easy closing. My realtor, Scott, got me asking price quickly. Um, and I'm, I'm just really happy, so. I highly recommend the process with Mr. Garrison here. So if you need a great realtor, you're looking at him right here. <laughs> that sounds great. Thanks, yeah. Jason. Yeah, Anything you're welcome. Else? Thank Anything you. Else? Okay, good. That's it. Alrighty. Thanks. Thanks.